months when he got this check, and I hear he has a ton more in the pipeline. And he's even got some banks that have unclaimed money coming to them from tax sales, and he's working with them. Now, I know a lot of you are saying right now, well, Rick, how do I get started? I want to get some lists in this week, and I need to know how to get going. Well, there's a couple things you're going to need to do in order to get started literally this week. Okay? One, you're going to need about three hours of training, and it's going to take me a little while to get you up to speed on exactly what you're looking for and how to get it as far as those lists go. Okay, and we're going to need to provide you with a couple documents like the public records request form that we use and show you a cookie cutter approach to getting all the lists in the state that you want to start out in. Now, you know, once you get a list in one county in a state, you'll know how to get it over and over again in the rest of the counties in that state. Okay, and then you just start sending some emails and making some calls to those agencies that you found and your list will be right on their way. Now, while those lists are coming in, I'm going to show you all the techniques for locating and contacting your claimants over the next couple weeks. And you'll be ready to start sending the very same letters we send and saying the exact same things on the phone to your claimants that we say. And to do that, we put together a complete online training that you can start accessing tonight. And that's the Hooked on Overages 12-step training. Now, let me show you what you're going to get access to when you get involved tonight. Now, First, you're going to get immediate access to the first three steps of the training, which give you all the background you need to know about the business to get started and get your list coming in. And each step of the training is a 10-minute quick start video and a one-hour video workshop where we really expand on each concept. And then every day, or I'm sorry, every week, starting on day 10, you're going to get two more steps, each with its own video and its own workshop. And you're probably going to want to spend that first 10 days really getting some lists coming on their way to you. I mentioned earlier you can choose the state you want to work in and find out how to get their records by researching each state's laws online. That can take a lot of time to do all 50 states, and we want you to get started immediately. So we did all the work for you. You're going to get a 50-state guide to overages and a 50-state guide to public records access right off the bat. So you don't have to spend any time on that. These guides are going to tell you which states have tax sale overages and which, states, or which agencies hold those tax sale overages in each state. And all states have mortgage foreclosure overages, and we'll show you where those are found, too. So you're not going to have to waste time researching states that don't have tax sale overages or, or try to figure out where to request your list from. Now, the 50-state guide to public records access is also going to tell you how to request your list and what to expect from the agency, like response time and whether they're required to email those lists to you. Now, remember, even if they're, they're not required to email the list to you, many of them will just to save time. Now, in addition to the 12-step videos and workshops and the 50-state guides, you're also going to get immediate access to our Quick Start Guide, which gives you the essentials for all 12 steps right up front. And as I mentioned before, we don't want you to have to reinvent the paperwork that took us years to develop. So you're going to get access to all the public records requests, the templates that we use, the letters we send the claimants, the paperwork we use to sign them up for claims, everything else that we use, even a notary, um, a notary instruction form. And I mentioned earlier, it's absolutely essential that you don't get called on a technical foul by using inferior paperwork to process these claims. It can really be heartbreaking when a good deal falls apart 